In the dead of night, a little girl looked out her window in Washington, not to see the street, but to contemplate the sky. Her name was Vera Rubin. Born in Philadelphia in 1928, from a young age she felt an irresistible fascination with the movement of the stars. While other children played, she traced the trails of meteorites and memorized the constellations. Her father, an electrical engineer, recognizing that spark in her eyes, helped her build her first telescope out of cardboard, a rudimentary portal to the universe that so called to her. That passion led her to study astronomy at Vassar College, the only woman to graduate in her class of 1948. But the world of science didn't always look back on her with the same warmth. When she tried to apply to Princeton's graduate program, her application was rejected outright. The reason, until 1975, they didn't admit women to their astronomy program. It wasn't a personal no, but an institutional iron door. One advisor even suggested she devote herself to painting pictures of celestial objects. But Vera wasn't cut out to paint the cosmos, she was destined to measure it. Undeterred, she enrolled at Cornell University, where she met and married Robert Rubin, a physicist who would become her greatest supporter and collaborator. There she studied under giants like Philip Morrison and Richard Feynman. Her master's thesis had already caused a stir, suggesting that galaxies were not randomly distributed, but rotated around an unknown center. The scientific community greeted her work with skepticism, but the seed of doubt had already been planted. Vera Rubin didn't just look at the stars, she asked them questions no one else dared to ask. And that unwavering curiosity was about to change our understanding of the universe forever.